Okay, welcome to the Fit City Wellness Center. And I want to uh, welcome you here. And I've gotten a number of requests for combining different kinds of workouts. So what this workout is going to be is a combination of kettlebells and Tabata training. So that's body weight training, which is high intensity kind of interval training. And so the bottom line is that you work out as hard as you want to. This workout, you can push yourself to uh, whatever extremes you want or as hard as you want, or you can just go through it and get a good workout uh, by design. This, these workouts, I have five workouts, so, and I'll go through all of them. And basically, there's going to be an instructional type um, demonstration versus an actual working out. So we will do some of the, we'll do all the exercises, but I'll talk about variations. I have three different camera views, a low left, a straight on, and a mid right that will kind of help you um, maybe see the exercises better. So there's 12 exercises per workout, and each workout probably roughly takes uh, maybe 10 to 12 minutes at most. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to go through and, and demonstrate these things and talk about variations if need be, because not everybody's able to do everything. So I'll show the variations, and so some things um, you know I have trouble doing too, so it's just a matter of finding a variation that works. So the, basically the things you're going to need is some kind of a timer. I have a circuit trainer timer here. You can get a, 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 a gym boss, as they're called, little timer you can clip on your shirt. That's about 19 bucks. You can go to, you get a phone app, you can get a tablet app that are free that has some kind of a countdown timer or you need a, something that repeats multiple times without stopping. So for the Tabata time, we're going to use only 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, which is the traditional kind of Tabata and doing the, these activities. You're also going to need some kettlebells. So if you have one or two at home, that's great. I've got a 15, a 20, and a 26 pound that I'll use at different exercises. Um, because I can't do all the exercises with the same. And so if you only have one, that's perfect. That's all you need. You can just do more reps than what's recommended here or what I demonstrate. You can do it however you want. You can go out and get a second kettlebell. They're pretty inexpensive in reality. Um, I have a Pilates pad that I'm going to be doing on the floor for uh, support for forearms um, when I do squat thrusts. So if you have a Pilates pad, great. Go get one, great. If you want to use, just use a nice, comfortable, a bath towel that's nice and, and soft, that's fine too. And I have sliders. And so we're on carpet here in the Wellness Center. So if you have carpet at home, you can get some of these sliders at a home improvement store. They're about nine, 10 bucks for one or two pairs. So a really inexpensive investment that allows you to do some things. So we'll do some with sliders, some without sliders. And so if you've got a tile floor, wood floor, um, linoleum, whatever you can, just, just fold up some, some hand towels and put it down underneath your toes with your tennis shoes and that will work fine. So um, I'm going to start with workout one here. I'm going to get the timer set up. And so part of this I'll be breathing hard so I'll try to do the best I can to communicate um, clearly <laughs> and, and um, with full um, demonstration of the exercises. So again, you choose how fast you want to go through this. If you're gun ho like you say, you can go through this once very fast, you can go through it twice, you can do it three times, you can do it whatever you want, as much of a workout as you want. So it's going to cover all the muscle groups of the body. And so we're going to run through workout number one here in a second. And so I've already done my warm up. So you got to make sure you get some kind of a warm up in and maybe a little bit of stretching before you start. And then when you're done, do some kind of a cool down, maybe some easy stretching. So I don't have that as a part of this, but you need to make sure that you do that. Okay, so workout one. The first three exercises are a kettlebell squat with upright row. So for that one, I'm going to use the 26-pound kettlebell. And so with all these different angles, I'm hoping you get a good view of that. Then we're going to do a two-arm swing for 20 reps, then a clean and press. So I'm going to move to a, a different weight. So a clean, press, down to the floor, switch arms. And I'll describe this as I go through this. And then we'll get on to the three Tabata exercises and then back to the kettlebell exercises. So for this first one, it's called a kettlebell squat with upright row. We're going to do 20 reps. And I have some music in the background. Hopefully that's not going to interfere with me talking and all that kind of stuff. So um, we're going to go through this, as I said. And then I'll take a short break, come back and do workout two. And so on the DVD, if you have, uh, if you have the DVD, all you got to do is hit uh, advance. And then I'll move to the next marker and the next workout. So this will be online as well as um, I'll have a couple of DVDs available if people, if people need them. Okay, so here we go, workout number one, and I'll time it kind of so I know exactly how much time we're gonna go. So feet about shoulder width apart, toes not pointed straight ahead, but it's a little bit out, 
And so we're going to grasp the kettlebell as we come up. We want to keep our elbows higher. And if you want to come all the way to the chin, that's fine. So I'm going to do 20 reps here. Again, you go at your own pace. And so as you do your squat, you want to push your bottom back a little bit. There's five. Six. Seven. You want to keep your knees over your toes as you do your squat. Eight. Nine. There's ten. This is about a medium pace. 12, 13. So this works the legs, the butt, the back, the upper shoulders, arms. There's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Make sure you use your legs first as you come up. There's 20. So again, you take as much rest as you want to in between. So next is a two-arm swing. So if you haven't done some of these, they'll be kind of awkward at first, but there's plenty of, if you can't get it from watching this um, presentation of it, you can, there's all kinds of things on YouTube that you can look up for swings and things like that. Okay, so feet a little bit wider than the shoulders. Bend over, pre-swing between the legs, and I'm only coming up to chin height. Two, three, arms are relaxed. Four, five. Again, use your legs first. Great for the butt, great for the low back strength. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, I'll put that down. Next is a clean and press. So I'm gonna go down to 15 pounds. I'm just gonna alternate. So again, your feet about, about shoulder width apart. So it's a little bit of a swing through. You bring it up and catch it at shoulder height. Press it overhead, down the floor, switch arms. And we just do that for 10 reps each side. There's one. So some of these take a little bit longer, and that's fine. You can change the reps however you want to fit your needs or fit your time schedule. This is great for the legs, the glutes, the back, shoulders, triceps, which is the back muscle in the back of your arm. There's four. So by design, the kettlebell exercises will go a little bit slower than the Tabata exercises, which are designed for high speed of movement. There's going on six. Six. Always have good form, no matter what you're doing. Don't ever have bad form and trying to get something done. Then it increases your risk of injury. So I'd rather have you do less reps with better form than more reps with bad form. Here's nine. And 10 with the left. 10 with the right. Okay, so I'm gonna move the kettlebells out of the way. Now we're gonna do some Tabata stuff. So the first one is called Mountain Climbers, and it's a great core exercise, and so this one's gonna be like you're on, on the ground in a push-up position, and you're trying to run as fast as you can. So we're gonna do three intervals, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So I'm gonna start the timer. So I've got my 10 second rest. Turn down the volume a little bit. So go as hard as you can with good form again. Don't ever substitute your form. Here we go. If you need to rest, that's fine, stop and rest. But just go as fast as you can for 20 seconds. Two, one, and there's one down. So we get a 10 second recovery. And we'll do two more of those. So it's great for the core. Here we go, number two. Oh. Let's stop, my microphone came off. So don't stop, or don't wait for me. Okay. 
Okay, two sets down. Oh, come on. Okay. I'm going to finish my third set, then we're going to fix this. Okay, there's set three. Okay, I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to fix this and come back and we'll finish up. Sorry about that. So we're back. That was uh, one exercise we did. And the second exercise, what we're going to do is knee push-ups. So I'm going to put my knees on my Pilates pad so it's a little bit easier. So it just keep your core as nice and tight as you can as you do these push-ups. You want your elbows, your hands about a little bit wider than your shoulders. Straighten out your body so it's nice and straight. And then keep your core tight as you do your push-ups. So again, try to go as fast as you can. If you have to stop and rest, that's fine. If you want to do these from your toes, that'd be even better. Okay, set number one. Shake out those wrists. Okay, after this, we're going to move to squat thrust for three sets, and I'll show some variations. So set number two. It's great for the chest, the arms, the shoulders. Set number two. All right. Shake it out. So the Tabata stuff goes by a lot faster, but you don't get much rest. Keep it going now. Do the best you can. Okay, set number three, good. Okay, for squat thrust, I put this up for my knuckles down. We're gonna let that go through one time. So in the first set, I'll show a variation, which is just stepping back and stepping up, and then stand up. In the second set, I'll do the nor my normal, and then the third one, we'll just do whatever. So we'll let the timer for 10 seconds rest. So this one, down to your hands, or in my, my case, the knuckles, step back, step back, step up, step up, and then stand up. Here we go, 20 seconds. So this is a variation. It works fine. You're still getting full body movement. People with tight backs, me like a tight hip. It all works fine. Okay, there's one. Okay, the second one, I'll just do my normal, as well as the third one. Here we go. Do the best job you can. Okay, there's number two. Technology is great when it works. It's the pain when it does it. Okay, set number three. Here we go. Okay, good. Okay, that concludes our Tabata stuff for right now. Now we're gonna go back to the kettlebell. And so again, take your own rest breaks. So I'm gonna use the 15 pound. This one's called a back lunge and a press. So I'm gonna hold the weight in my right. I'm gonna sit back with my left so my right leg's getting to work. I come up, I press. So it's same side leg and arm. So eight reps on one, eight reps on the other. Okay, here we go. So this is not for time, 
But again, get as deep as lunge as you feel you can. Come up and press, there's one. This has a balance component, which is good. Does a great job for the quads, for the glutes, and also for the shoulders, upper back, and triceps. There's five, six. The deeper your lunge goes, the better it is for your legs. So you want to go down for whatever you can. Okay, now I'm going to the other side. My left shoulder doesn't quite work as good as my right. Four. Five. Six. And if you want to do more reps, that's your prerogative. There's eight. Okay, we're a little over halfway through. This is about eight or nine minutes in, so that's good. Now I'm gonna do a, a kettlebell squat. I'm gonna hold the kettlebell out in front. So find one, or if that's too heavy, the one you have, just use your hand. So this is a core activation while you do your squat. And then I'm gonna do 15 reps. So I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna get ready with my squat position. I'm gonna hold the kettlebell out. And here we go. There's eight. There's halfway. Get as deep a squat as you can. Good for the shoulders. Thirteen. 14, 15, good. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the heavier one for my one-arm swings. So, 10 swings with one arm, 10 swings with the other arm. So just like the two-arm swing, but now with one arm. So, this is pretty good. Let's get my heart rate up, sweating a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna sit down. Pull the kettlebell through, pop it up for the first rep. So 10 reps, one. So really snap the hips up, right? Three, four, five, six. Keep your shoulders level. First movement up is with the legs, snapping the hip, nine. Now I'm gonna change without stopping. If you need to stop, that's fine. The other arm is used as a counter. Five, six, seven, eight, two more. Doing good, nine, 10. All right. Now we're moving to our last three Tabata exercises, a forearm plank, three intervals, 20 on, 10 off, what are called core rotators. We're gonna do two sets on each side, and then one's called pushbacks. So I'm gonna get the pad out for my forearms. As I said, you can use your nice soft bath towel. So we're gonna go in about seven seconds. So just hold a nice forearm plank. Three, two, one, go. Feet a little wider than your hips. Keep your butt in straight line with your neck, your tailbone. Keep your tummy tight and relax. Two, one, and done for one. Okay, there's one down, two more to go. So we're getting the whole body on this, two, one. Here we go, number two. Make sure your tailbone to your neck is a nice straight line. If we put a level on your back, the bubble will be right in the middle. Breathe. Two, one, done. Okay, two done. One more to go. So we've got about a minute and a half to go in this workout. Two, one, here we go. Good. 
Doing good. Hang in there. Five seconds. If you need to stop at any time, just stop and rest and come back to it or finish for the workout. Okay, this next one is a side plank with a rotation. So without me trying to explain everything, I'll be on my left forearm with my right foot forward. I'm rotating under, okay? So this is core activation to rotate. Obliques, my hips are up. So I'm keeping my core active. So 20 seconds on one side, 10 seconds rest, 20 seconds on the other side. I'm only gonna do two of these and rest. Just a different way of doing a plank with a little movement. Okay, right forearm, left foot forward. Here we go, 20 seconds on. Try to rotate those hips under as far as you can. Go as fast as you can on your rotation. And, okay, one down. One more to go. Yeah, these workouts are about 12, 13 minutes. Here we go, left forearm again, right foot out in front, and we're rotating. Stay tight, rotate those hips. Okay, one more. Doing our last exercise, and we're all done. Okay, right forearm, left foot out in front. Here we go. Remember, you go at your own pace. This is just educational. I'm sure you go a lot faster than me. And we're done. Okay. Stop the timer for a second. Okay, now the last Tabata is called a pushback. And so we're gonna be in a forearm plank with our feet on the sliders. You can really see this from the left camera. I'm pushing my body back. So my body is the only thing that moves. My arms are stationary and my body will move forward and back over my arms. So a nice tight core, toes on the sliders. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. So we'll do three intervals. And then we're all done. Then it's time for your cool down. Three, two, one. Here we go. So push back, pull forward. Push back, pull forward. So push, only push as far back as you can keep good form. You're going to feel this right behind your belly button, down deep in your tummy. Okay. There's one. Two more. You're doing good. Hang in there. Three, two, one. There we go. Keep it going. And rest for two. Good job. One more. This is workout number one. Two, one, here we go. Stay tight. It's okay to rest. Just get right back up and keep going. All right, good work. So that's workout number one. And whether you want to do these workouts twice a week, you know, do a different one, that's great. Three times a week is great. If you're more motivated, four times a week. And if you're really going after it, just do one of these workouts each day. Um, well, you need lots of good rest, lots of good sleep, and also need to eat very well. Okay, workout one is done. I'll be back for workout two in a minute.